Na National Commission for Democracy Na Salon Sobid et Zappos Positive Participation In Governance Na Salon Na National Commission for Democracy Na Salon Sobid et Zappos courtesy of the National Commission for Democracy. Um, today, again, as always, we they discuss a very, I mean, significant topic. We, I believe, say, if you, uh, I mean, um, day by your set, watch this program and pay attention closely, before the end of this program, you said we'll get something for that. Even do you have got the opportunity for contribute as the discussions they go on. Um, the topic we will discuss today be they look at the importance of technical and vocational education and training in the governance process of a state. We want to see how this two we call tech book is really really important in the process of governance um, in a country to be specific Sierra Leone. Um, we they look at um, the need, the significance. We look at the challenges, and we also go see the kind of recommendations that we will provide at the end of the day. Yusuf, like I say, initially you will get the opportunity for me to contribute. You will see the text message on the screen. Sorry, you see the, the, the number on the screen, the telephone number on the screen. Just send text message to that number. We go hear them out, and we also will take note of that message here as part of the recommendations the more we get for make to government. Um, but before um, we start the program, make a first of all start by introducing me panel. Um, I get with me in the studio the um, well I will call him the spokesperson of the National Commission for Democracy, we Naina the director of PR and communications and that the Reverend Jibrila Kagbo. Reverend say hello to Fambulem. Fambulem Audu. Okay. Um, and soon we will get another panelist who will join me for help we push I mean the discussion forward. But before I mean we go to the program proper, I go first of all want for give you small updates on what in the commission then they do, I mean this week. Um commission done um putting budgets together for twenty twenty one and we'll submit them to uh, the Ministry of Development. And um, the Commission also, they continue with in radio programs across the country, not so just television program with the whole, we also do all radio programs across the country now, all the regions, we them programs and the, the Commission, they use them for educate or raise awareness in the public about issues that were really, really pertinent, or issues that were really important, we will also enhance we are citizens for actively participate in the governance process of the state. Um, uh, now I go start um, with um, Reverend Jibula Kagbo for make you go give it in pick us, um, Reverend. 
What now you pick for this week? Uh, plain thank you, Mr. But we uh, moderator. We want to focus attention on the press release where NCD issue during the course of the week. Of course, ex um, precisely Monday, October 12, 2020. Okay. We we focus attention on the incident of October 8, 2020. That was Thursday. Last week we happened uh, the northern city of Makeni. Okay. Which I will see. Um, well. On the one hand, ACC being supposed for interview the former president, but then on the other hand, we see um, solidarity expressed um, on behalf of the former president, where result in um, ACC not carrying out their um, assignment, yes, the state function. Okay. Of course, it's open to different interpretations, but um, as a commission, we look at the facts, say, we constitution give we all, as citizens of Sierra Leone, rights and responsibilities. Okay. So, we, the kind of, um, indicates to every Sierra Leonean, say, rights are supposed to be exercised responsibly. Okay. So, when you get your rights, like somebody can say, you write for swing you are. He stop beside the other person, no start. If you go beyond that point, they then that right they get for be questioned. So now that they make we look at the incident and decide say like just like how we can do for other um, governance related issues, we can always come out for make a statement or like what kind of television so we can talk about her. But of course, people can can always ask questions because they're not can follow up some of the activities that we didn't see do. So we use that press release for appeal to all the key players them. Number one, ACC, we continue to ask for make them um, show what you call remarkable professionalism. And for the police, we ask them make them exercise maximum restraint, make them not mind the one they will call for a showdown. Because um, when things don't go bad it, or it's almost like all man can, can, can wait for me something go bad and then they begin blame people. So we don't appeal to the police, say, just like how when I, when I allow, we even though do, do they were provoked, but they not allow such provocation for degenerating to um, other things and women bad in the past because we know that that same McKinney day. Then kill people. Mm -hmm. we, we all for understand, say, every Sierra Leonean life is very important. Especially if they die, we're not to um, a court decision because um, you, you get what you call extrajudicial killing. And when we see them up and around, we as a governance institution, we can always get concerned. So the fact says such a thing not happen, we the ask say, make it not ever happen again. On a particular day, may not happen again. Make they not allow situation for provoke them such that they go, they go uh, um, activate the trigger of the gun. We go always find ways and means for talk, but we problems them. But we also take time for talk to um, the former president. We one of in legacy and the peace and stability of this country. We know say during tenure, he, he, he take um, two terms now office. We see how the mediate we country in terms of the peace index. So we now NCD remind them say make nothing happen to that legacy day. Make it do everything within in power for ensure say um, he able for. Um, influence the situation, make the outcome be positive in terms of uh, maintaining uh, um, peace and stability in our country. But we also appeal to the general citizenry, especially the residents of Makeni, for say, we we'll not take the law into our own hands. Okay. That we, 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 of course, we get right for, for show solidarity to whoever. Like how it can happen now. Uh, advanced democracies where something like this happen you get set of citizens who go old placard come on a treat and say we they in support of this person even the way nine are the accused you go get out that one that we go say we're well, we in support of the government now so uh um it happen advanced democracy so we're not there against people showing their solidarity but we always go appeal say not take the law into your hands because when you take the law into your hands you they turn the society upside down the law and the last instrument we'll get as a nation for make stability they make all man feel say we all belong and the law for able for treat we all.
um, as equals because but the rule of law in respecting the rule of law it simply implies say before the law we all equal and they're not the they're not the uh, um, give one kind of um, uh, um, approach to the law for one person and another approach to the law for another person no we want for see say the law it operates across the board for everybody so make nobody not tamper with the law may nobody not take the law into your hands so we use that that press release for for make them appeal stand late even as we the consider the facts say several other things that happen across the country we continue for need we attention for make we able for focus attention on what you call national unity political tolerance and social cohesion if we work towards that as a nation we go help you immensely for make salon come more better um thank you very much Reverend, for that because i feel say you speak to all the the issues the press release detail the procedures on say that i mean all the players you know the police the ACC, the people, and the former president, like you say, NCD gets a responsibility for sure say people them know what they're supposed to be, their rights, and also their responsibility. So all of these players get a responsibility for making sure say the right thing happen. They also get a responsibility for making sure say be peace, we continue for maintain them. In as much as they get their rights also for do what they're supposed to do according to law. Okay, that's one. Um, I believe say the family with the list himself don't get that one day very clear. Now make a first of all yeah, I mean welcome um the other panelists. We now um Charlie Israel Williams, Barristan Solicitor. We also an activist. Um, Charlie, you're welcome to the program. Thank you so much. <coughs> yes, um just to introduce the program before you come in and today uh, we they um, look at the importance of technical and vocational education and training in uh, a salon and how much this the impact or how significant it be I mean to the governance process of your state. But before we, we go to that, first of all we get you pick for this week. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm. Um me pick really get for do with what's in the app now in our country. We see the incidents of sexual penetration, rape I mean, we see what in the happen in as much as we don't see government in posture as to the laws and waiting for happen to perpetrate us. We still continue to see cases of rape sexual penetration across the country. And for me, I'm not just satisfied with the fact say we don't amend the law we cut sexual, uh, sexual and domestic violence. I think say, we also therefore go beyond just looking at the laws okay. and try to look at, do a situational analysis. Mm. Situational analysis in the sense we for try to study this problem properly so that we will be able to understand what in the happen and what in for do for solver. You know, even then turn the entire way we get that uh, 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 state of emergency declared on rape and sexual violence, even when we amend the laws. Me on position don't always be. Laws alone not enough to solve problems. Okay. Laws alone. If we don't understand this problem properly, we're not able for profile and good. Even if we say the penalty in our death, we will see these cases become up. From then turn anyway, we get the declaration of state of emergency on rape to this latter part we amend the laws. If we check the statistics, italics in and now the victims them boku and are now the perpetrators them boku. Some people can say, well, yes, now so now now we boku because now people they report, people know they hide them. But that is not so. That is not so. Then can problem here a societal problem. It entrench today into communities, into families, domestic relationships. If we not study this thing properly as a country, we try to get a discussion around it. We understand what they happen. We get the kingdom go there at the masses. 
of people that we will not able to understand. And it's terrible for a country because we human resource base. If you look at the population, woman um, people man. And if we begin and not get safety, we woman and not get security, then there is a problem. I think that's my big Okay, yes, thank you very much. I think we're going to have a for that. Yes, um, for me, it's an issue where, like how Barista say, it needs a lot of attention. He rec make one recommendation. He said, go study the situation. Okay. And um, he states one thing where, um, I think as a nation, we for focus attention on that. He says, the laws alone, they, they are not enough to solve the problem because we don't we don't see say even in recent times we see how effort is being made a lot of publicity is given to the situation okay. but we not see any let let up in fact na 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 increase it increase so for tell you say there is something that we've not been looking at and um, for me it, it goes to the situation we have called We've degenerated. There is a serious moral decadence in the society. And um, it speaks to the breakdown. Not just in public life, but breakdown in family values and um, even activities in religious institutions. For me, that is what this, this situation they tell me. Because you get, you get almost every Sierra Leonean. They either go to church or mosque. Mm -hmm. The one they will left out, the number are very insignificant. But that that's not not notwithstanding, and they still get what they believe in. And uh, but it appears as if for most of the time, we we are merely paying lip service to family values and the faith they will they will they profess they will they practice, because they all condemn that kind of practice where we see don't become rampant in the society. I read one newspaper recently in one particular district in our country when they look at the, the cases they were in our court. It was sexual penetration and then get the lion share. But I see here something <coughs> that even though we don't get a lot of uh, a, a, a publicity on the matter and even the laws themselves don't change. Mm -hmm. We don't even get specialized courts mm -hmm. for that particular purpose. We still see the thing they increase. For me, we need to sit up as a nation and really ask yourself the question, what are the values that we hold and cherish? How much will they exhibit, even in the faith world, they express in God? by being Muslim or being a Christian or being even a traditional believer. How much faith we they exhibit and how much value we get we go stop you from doing the ne those negative things. Mr. Moderator, our society is experiencing a significant level of moral decadence. But like how the barista recommend we will try for conduct studies on this situation. We will find out what's in the happen. If it is not something that is feared by even we call mm -hmm. let us find out. But for me, the issue of moral decadence and the fact say it look like say we call yourself the support that kind of thing there. Because you go just see even on the HP King and Gian for marriage. You ask yourself the question, why should this happen? One great man then will say then he get access for marriage as several women. When somebody will tell you say, well, it's a cultural practice. And the way we treat some of these women, it's a serious problem, moderator. So therefore, more we check this thing. More we more we make, make, make it become even as, as government don't don't put so much effort and interest into this thing. Make we invest more for investigate the matter through uh, um, regular studies or what you call research for make people forget significant database for say now these are the causes now these are the triggers mm -hmm. and I so go for solver mm -hmm. okay thank you very much I, I feel say that's really very significant that's not just on highlights 
and I'm sure, I mean, um, stakeholders set them in, and I believe see them will take them up, you know, because um, the good thing and barrister said it's quite a problem, and you said also don't they um, 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 support that, see we really need for looking into them deeply, see how much we be able to understand really what's the need to this, and um, how to address them um, as the law, just the law, not enough, because honestly, they could not see, not to all things they come to the law, so in things they you know then they handle them even before it comes to law. And if we don't address them from that point, it it would be a problem. Okay, um, thank you very much for that speak. Now let me go to the um discussions program and pro and proper sorry. Um Reverend, we focus today now on the importance of technical and vocational education and training with respect to democratic good governance. But first of all, let us try first of all make family with the watch the program or the listen we really understand when we say technical, I mean um, vocational education, what do we mean? Um I'll go and use the definition where we September twenty nineteen um TVET policy G where the minister of um uh, um Tasha well Technical and higher education, hmm. where they put where they give as in preface, he said that that kind of education where they prepare the person for the world of work. Okay, not only loaded, but um, I want to make a distinction because what you get what you call blue collar work, um, and for white collar day, <laughs> that kind of thing, then use colors for uh, um, differentiate the kind of people. Then. And we notice, say, for most of the time, people people um, want for just focus attention on the uh, yeah, that that is yes, work where you go put in an office. You didn't want air condition office and probably in a uh, um, document that you design or do something related to the office. Mm. But we did, we uh, uh, um, even though that not so even. A clear picture of the situation because even with technical vocational employment or education, as it were, whether they focus, it can able for give you opportunity for make you able for evolve in hands on work. Mm -hmm. That and for most of the time, this kind of education they targets the middle level workforce. Um, then things and way involve clear cuts, um, say manual skills for do them. And that, 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 that they will lead you. But um, now we all, now they pass this part of the world and we come to in particular. It's all like say, we don't value that kind of education day. Because if, if somebody will say, well, it doesn't make you sit down in a cozy office. But if you ask me, now that kind of education day, now you give you that work outside the money day. Mm -hmm. You take for instance, you look at... Um, one clear example now we what we do call fitters, mechanics. We seem they, these are these are engineers of some sort, technicians of some sort. But we seem for the downplay because um, it's almost always practical knowledge, not to they not basically understand the theories, but we we'll look at vocational, technical and vocational education. It will help you for make you know not to only for understand the practice, but for also build them up on the foundation of theory, where they take you back just like that grammar school type of education when I'm people they focus attention on. So in tech work education, now that kind of education where they give you hands on training for make you become useful to yourself and useful to the rest of society and so we go put them okay and uh, um, thank you very much um you like what you just say it seems as if i mean um people like the downgrade you know that type of education and and Reverend, you just mentioned something you really look at the mechanics in the motor mechanics you know go know how important then be until you recruit this problem mm. or maybe even when you do not office the ac you need that person for fix your AC. You know, you you television when you watch, even the internet, all of these things you need people and we I mean get for big them to also work. And like you say, honestly, the money the most times not in our office. No. But because of that coat and tie business, you know, and 
then you know and i don't know a barrister <laughs> the, the problem we get most time people they only consider somebody be a bit of big english you know write big piece one piece article one big big write up and you consider to be educated but the possible way they make life they go on because for me honestly people the way they make the things the way they use the work i believe say then they help greatly for their life going only value them so much what's the way they happen <laughs> okay make i answer a question this way what is the purpose of education mm -hmm. when we answer that question then the purpose of education mm -hmm. then we're able for understand say we don't miss out a lot as a country we don't miss out a lot as a country you see, every level of education get within required for make the purpose is achieved. Okay? If you if you go back to the Constitution, Act number no. six, 1991, mm -hmm. section nine, subsection one, paragraph A, it said government for ensure say the policy way it is set for ensure say, everybody get right for access education mm -hmm. he say every citizen forget the opportunity day mm. for making able for exercise in ability in aptitude inclination for able for cc he either get primary education he get second education get vocational education get technical education college and university so you find out say there are levels of education mm. primary secondary they get uh, vocational technical college university and when we arrange the 6334 system in those days now for able for capture this aspect okay because the truth is this when they say somebody educated not for just a bluff around now for me you can contribute to society but what we see now we continue that even this formal education where we've been put the attention to you know and can be waiting for me so because we neglect the other aspect of technical vocational education now that makes somebody don't go to college now. He come, he did five years, eight years, he did look for work. Because if you get a factory, for example, inside in the manufacture of furniture, you will need accountants. You might even need a lawyer for legal representation. You will need so many other people. But tell me, if we not get them things that need to go on, how do you even provide jobs for these other people who are educated otherwise? Because we neglect that aspect. Let me tell you what has happened to Africa. In Africa, because we're not able to pay attention at the middle level, you they find out, say, we they lost we resources to the West. And you go on for asking question. Is it that now, now something where they don't design for their happen so so that Africans go so far and become dependent? For example, um, with a Morito, where do we get furniture from? When we have carpenters, we have timber in Sierra Leone. Where do we get furniture from? We the import. <laughs> we the import because. We neglect that aspect. And in terms of population, when you look at the population mix, Uda go school, Uda not go school, Uda go school at some level, Usaidi stop. I'm telling you, the one that will not reach college, they are in the majority. The question is, what skills, what vocation do they have? None. So because of their things, then they we society not able for fully fully tap into our potentials and see what thing we able to make of ourselves as a country now just do your attention to the last aspect yeah you see this thing what they call where we mentioned a middle man level middle man power mm. 
when that is absent in a country, <laughs> economically that country is a struggle. Mm -hmm. And this is one thing we really, really lack in our society. Yes, let me ask you a question. When will they do old construction so? Mm. Until recent, who that then will they drive the tractors? Some machine that they work on at this country will not get operators. They have to import people into this country for mm -hmm. right them. Mm -hmm. Because we not pay attention. And and better just hit the last point. We 634 system mm -hmm. be supposed for living into this aspect. We not be only supposed to get junior secondary school and senior secondary school where they all legal sit back and was. We've been supposed to forget the technical vocational schools. Who say somebody, they go learn how for be a carpenter, somebody they study how for be a mechanic, motor mechanic, somebody they study how for be, you know, electrical engineer. And when Lincoln Queen come, where somebody they go study how for be a photographer, so when he take classic picture, Somebody they go learn how for be musician. If you find out, we don't even get recording studios in this country. We go record and do good sounds and all. So sometimes even when we, we, we do music and then we pull them out, you know they enjoy them. The Nigerian music go do well in Sierra Leone. Why? Because we neglect that. So when we go Queen come, I say, wow, this is a step in the right direction. Because that person where they go study photography, you they find out, say, when is snap picture that person will go study about music that person will so that the aspect there yeah make with the audio so okay um thank you very much um, um barista um reverend for, for me, i don't know but i feel say much emphasis no day on that because for me you, you find out say the focus now on that grammar school type of education, everybody wants to make him pick him, get that kind of education. And when 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 you look around, you see the one they read and they send for go do fit out, they, they even respect them well. You go see somebody they go learn fit out in a garage, they stay, they say, to this <laughs> You know, you see somebody they go for go train something, we get for do with these technical things, they treat them seriously. You don't feel that you're being get some wrong because when you go for go study this thing, they don't treat you with respect, you know, they even value the job. In fact, you find out, say, at the end of the day, you know, they even get that kind of quality training where the person is supposed to get them. Because honestly, Reverend, for me, from the experience they had on the get, even with the features who get to this country, most of them are more guests, guests, and Kideva. So, like, you find out, say, some of them are like when they can almost done it for Lani and then come now. So, so, like, when they come, they focus too, so very much that they work, that forget money. We you know they submit work fine. So, you know, people say, like, if government pay attention to this and make it attractive and even try to see how much you will send people them abroad for all that for skills here come back you know um this and get them and then we then they will to do some solar things that this eastern part mm -hmm. mm -hmm. then we we'll do a very good job we are trade them country let's say they travel police i know right enough say we really need for put emphasis and make them valuable and viable really so that when so boy, you pick himself will come up and say, I really want to do this thing, I really want to submit this kind of thing. And they get that kind of joy, so okay, make her just push and make himself go study this. You know, if we will forget her from that point, then we will for change the narrative. Um, Mr. Bob, we, we country, we country find itself in a very sad state. We, we continue for the group in the dark because we not um, handle things then we were all supposed to handle them. We came up with the 634 educational type of um, waiting thing for make we kind of create a balance mm -hmm. with the um, grammar school type of education. But uh, we still did not make improvement in terms mm -hmm. of um, the, the yes, how for implement them. Now, now after several years, we will say we did on six three three four, and now we get even um, it's a, a TVET policy mm -hmm. um, as recent as September 2019. So it tells you, as a nation, we not don't put 
importance on the things and we really matter. We, we are good at um, designing certain things, but um, not implementing them according to what you don't even design. We just, uh, in a trial and error, we always work on. And um, it's hard for a nation like we, we don't, don't become independent for the last 59 years. By April next year, Sierra Leone is going to be 60 years. And uh, what are we going to say about um, the future we want for a country? We are talking about when is it I want to achieve a middle level income uh, um, country? country. We, we, we just did around the corner, but what specific um, approach we don't, we don't employ? Well, for instance, let me, let me go to Kono and have a standard Tibet institution. Well, not even need for Kamdong Freetown. If I can get that same kind of thing. Let me go to Bo. Now we have 16 districts in the country. Let me go to each of these districts and find standardized Tibet institutions where everything that is required, if not in, now one for focus on, we get standardized <coughs> machinery where they will make even from 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 the Tibet institution itself, we can able to produce at factory level for supply to the country. Mm. If we get if we if we invest in that kind of way they then for me, now that will begin to say, okay, Sierra Leone, we are we're becoming serious about getting a balanced kind of education. We from the very beginning, that beginning say, I can able for acquire this level of education. And one thing what I think say with the miss out, we can just feel say um, technical and vocational education for just drop out. No. In the West, people they study up to university level in any vocation where they choose. <laughs> so that now they are I think I think they would miss out. And with policymakers them, governments in, government out, suppose for pay attention to them things as well. You you, you 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 see nations that are producing. Hmm? Go to go to Japan, go to China and these other places. They are, the people are all they drive around. Not every people are the police are. You want to get that kind of technical and vocational education. Mm -hmm. And they're not to just patch patch study. They study until the highest level. So they will for produce. Now imagine the best brands have produced the best, best vehicles in the world. But then you bring and come to a third world country like Sierra Leone, and those who are going to open it up for um, kind of say for, for, for maintenance, these are people who you know, don't even follow some kind of formal route for getting education. Mm -hmm. Where in some instance, some, some they were now by the poverty situation of the country, or some day back, I deliberate something and say, I'm not, I'm not interested in book learning. But if you combine the two, you will for read and write and get such technique and knowledge, it will help you for make you perform at the optimal level. Mm. Um, Barista just mentioned Lim, Lim, Lim Kong Queen. That is the intention. These East Asian countries, they don't see the value of them things and they. So they, want, they decide for, for export the same to other countries like we own. But are we first of all for the embrace them? And we see the saga around Lim Kokwin, which is something I, 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 at times I don't even want to talk about. Do that kind, that kind of laudable effort for tell you how would you think as Sierra Leoneans see the tension already around right now. Something we will suppose for support, 100%, regardless of um, whatever, uh, 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 um, well, I hate to mention it, but in any kind of thing, I don't for even bring politics inside it. But the sad reality, that is what, 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 what we are brought into it. For tell you, say, um, Salon at times not even think straight. The things that were for push me come to go before, and that we can ignore, that we can neglect. Now we want to see reality on the ground with um, the TVET policy. We want to see actions taken for make um, Sierra Leoneans get a reorientation for say, I can still be a professional tailor, get a factory, and still call myself an educated person, mm -hmm. even as a, as, as a tailor. Mm -hmm. Because this is something you study. You see, um, honestly, oh God, Chiaman, Chiaman, you always 
use the, the expression the, the, uh, we, that was very primordial. Um, you, you'd expect a good tailor with thorough education in, in say, uh, uh, um, technical vocational education for make it be accurate in terms of measurement. How it, so that when a design in suit, it, bring, it put out there, it competes with, with ready-made suits from other countries. Now, same tailor than they do. Mm. But because they allow themselves for, 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 for be standardizing and practice, they're able for, for, for produce something, will get um, international value. So you go take them. Um, uh, um, what is, what is, what is, what is my... Size. Uh, no, um, this is Prada. I'm, I'm, look, I'm talking about the, the uh, um, what do we call it? The, the, the logo, the design of... The design, yeah. Yes, of um, the, the thing they wear. These are people who went to uh, uh, um, that kind of school, get technical vocational education at the highest level, and then they produce their country as so the way they come out, the way they fascinate you in this part of the world. Mm -hmm. But we too can produce them if we allow ourselves to get the same kind of education at that level they we can put you on the cutting edge. Okay. So so you say this not a magic. No. A matter of training. Yes. So which means if they do have any part of the world, as long as the human beings like we do have. It can be done in Sierra Leone. Now for me we focus myself mm -hmm. and, and get uh, uh, leadership for drive the process. And uh, and in fact, you see, I think also for concern we are Sierra Leoneans. Not to whether not this uh, party or that party. Really? These are the things we uh, um, we we have. Uh, uh, I mean, place elected officials. What vision do you have for a Sierra Leone that is industrialized? And how do you pick it up? What what are the steps and strategies that we can put in place? Mm -hmm. Now, it's also for concern we are Sierra Leoneans. Not to then tell for the broke we ain't. Now this nine day, that nine day. No, these are the real issues about development. Way for focus with attention. Okay. Um Barrister make I bring you come in. Reverend Nick mentioned of something. If we if we if we get standard institutions, let's say now all the regions, we you go somebody go like proud says, Miss the artillery, you get there, I pam, you get the color. They say, Miss the good at this institution, you don't say this institution you they go through them courses and they and by the time you they graduate, you don't become a professional and can employ you any side. Like for example, if them, if you graduate as a mechanic, when you come out, you forbid somebody with hot, because you know say when you put your hand by any machine, that machine is for work. Or if you come out, and you graduate as a tailor, you know then that trust. See this person, you know like that kind of situation where you will be asked that lot where they should have place and from who side they send from this institution. You say ah, that's not the good. You know because you already don't get the trust because you know see they provide every they produce quality, quality and and qualified. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm professionals. You not really say that will really help in the governance process because, like whatever they say, most of the world can think. We they follow politicians, we they kill themselves for politicians, and because sometimes we not even get something to pay attention to. <laughs> because when we get something where we really they pay attention to, and you, you don't see them as a career, and you don't say that this thing you get for live by you a family, and you have to become a professional in that thing, and you have to make name not only in Sierra Leone beyond Sierra Leone. You don't really say no give me name to them, and you don't get something for doing the governance process of the state. Yes, you know you just hit the point where I have it done note. Okay. Yes, you just hit a right right on the head. Um, you see, we orientation. Like we have when say we, I not feel like we used that word primordial, but we thinking the way we been on understand certain things. You know, people believe say the one that we know will make up in our school where we can refer to as drop out. Mm -hmm. Then people end in enough for choose. Would I want go police? Would I want go soldier? Would I want go be mechanic now? Would I want go sell in the market? That is that is what has been happening all through history. Where we don't waste time in school, ten to form five. The person failed GC now finally. That is when we begin for things say, well, make make you go do this or make you go do that. So if they find out, say, 
people only send themselves in a certain places today because options like no being there again. Take the Finland, Finland um, uh, example. Mm -hmm. You know what you can do in Finland? Mm -hmm. If they notice, say, in the, uh, in the formal education setting, the grammar school type of education, and find out, say, you are bright and brilliant, then they encourage you for go teach. So as a teacher, then they pay you some kind of way, where the one where they talk, say, me now bank me the work, they go to call it, say, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is what they did in Finland. The best for come and produce the best. Mm -hmm. And so that much was where we've been deep and tired. We all now and then became either be lawyer, this be doctor, this be engineer. Now because now them profession then they will be recognized, now they will give respect, and now then they get money. Mm -hmm. And you know what a man, eh? We want the best. So everybody they rush for me, doctor, lawyer, be this. We neglect that aspect. Whereas other countries then twist them around. Mm -hmm. In some places, then people are with a given kind of service here, like cook, a chef. Where in it's not even go college. But he go to that hotel and tourism school. Who say go learn how for cook, how for prepare dishes. And one hotel take us the chef. If them pay that one day, mm. so I'm telling you when now now pilots say me get her. So that is what they've done for their countries. The orientation and then change. Mm. So, but uh, <laughs> without continuation, <laughs> yes, those such orientations not going to be changed easily outside policy. Yes. So it becomes. Uh, um, um, a governance drive for say this is our focus Good. and this is this is what we hope to achieve at the end of the day because such policies will always get the objectives yes because we want for like change perce the people's perception yes but you, it's not just about talking about it yes it's about deliberate decision and with actions. yes actions through policy objectives say that this we want mm -hmm. so that's what we do one yes for instance you mentioned teachers yes we're going to pay the teachers this much mm -hmm. so that nobody know they come and teaching field they run for left day mm -hmm. and say they look for greener pasture. Yes. The only reason you could begin to think about greener pasture because when you realize it they don't become it don't begin become brown. Yes. So you want for good and south side greener. Yes. So 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 going down to that same discussion mm -hmm. in terms of getting the best for train the best, let we look with country fine. Because when they talk about training vocational training who that then they deliver this training who that then they deliver that this is, training that is a very fine question the blind Master. not they lead the, the blind. blind who that they deliver so you mean saying that one serious challenge it is a serious let's, let's, challenge let's go outside free town okay let me go outside free town i challenge you that this two they talk about training like when they say oh now now they talk about university of the east now now they talk about university of the north. Now now they talk about this and talk about that. For you for able to get the best people for attract somebody, for example, for Kailan, mm -hmm. and settle day and deliver training for produce the best. You for make that person they feel say, why not they free tongue and all lost not? So uh Barrister, <laughs> uh, uh, I'd interject this one say. Um we know for the pay people them same salary say because they do the same work yes we forever forget what you call remote allowance yes the teacher where they are calm mm -hmm. where they sacrifice the goodies of free town mm -hmm. supposed for be paid some extra amount mm -hmm. for make the person feel say okay my services are needed mm -hmm. and therefore i cannot leave kailang to come to free town yes but how will they do one now it is those who don't have any alternative in fact that is why we still have in this in 2020 59 years after independence we still get untrained and unqualified teachers yes now we country yes even though you have several people who are qualified and still are without pin code mm -hmm. remember that point where it makes you really very significant <laughs> because when you get extra incentive for people who are going to remote places but that's where you get a rush of qualified people mm -hmm. because of that incentive that benefits really get mm -hmm. but honestly 
the boss is reverend say you will be a teacher or you then in another profession you open a free time you get you are attracted to other things they help you for make more money yes. apart from just the teaching yes but when you go to that remote part of the country mm -hmm. what's again you get for engaging apart from teaching so that is so which where, means yes yes so that is where decentralization can come mm. tell me to where you want passport to say you go Everybody comes to free town. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> comes to free town. If you want driving license, you know to go. You want to forget serious medical attention. Pass the one away with you now. Like, come free town. Come free town. These issues, they all, you see, they are connected, interconnected. Very connected. And, and you see, when we talk about governance, mm. it all boils down to service delivery. Mm -hmm. Effective service delivery. And um, it comes with... Um, we can really assess governance. There are certain criteria we like World Bank don't 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 uh, put down. But one of them, now what you call quality regulation. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a, a policy of government for say everything that is required mm -hmm. for make this particular district go mm -hmm. will be put inside it. Yeah. So that nobody wants back to free town for everything. Mm -hmm. So what you don't see now we see the over congestion of free town. Mm -hmm. That now, for even get place for sleep now, it's on a problem. Mm -hmm. If you not get almost million for mm -hmm. rentals, everybody want come free town. Everybody want for come free But when it becomes a deliberate policy by way of regulation of the government, say we are going to establish this this thing here, it is there. Nobody wants back to free town. And I was even thinking whilst I whilst I was coming, where Barrister just mentioned the issue of training, and see for now. Na 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 certain names say now like like Bali. Na certain names of value. Me I want for say situation you say the University of Sierra Leone, say for the college, make an establishment, and then various regions. Them, just the name, just the name go attract people for go there. Say na for the college, na instead I'm going to University of Sierra Leone. So we need for for we need for be deliberate in we approach to 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 development. Especially when we talk about human capital development. You know, you see, we now we can catch things them later on. But the West is advanced. So like say so we get late feeling. I tell you. Make I just remind family where they watch the program where they watch now N C D R where they come to them courts of the National Commission for Democracy. Um today we they look at the importance of um technical and vocational um education. And um, how much it contributes to um, democratic good governance, uh, Reverend. You mentioned something, but maybe Fam will not say I get with me the studio. Reverend Julia Kagbo, the PR and communications person at the National Commission for Democracy, and also a bystander, so this social is really I'm sure also now here, now an activist. You, you make mention of something. Not enough time. Let me just like try for see how much we could do. I mean the recommendations because in the discussions we highlight some challenges and the need for this kind of for this kind of I mean I mean um, education. You mentioned of something like when you talk about um, this passport thing or other things, you know, you just you never come free town. But honestly, like when we get these um, councils, we talk about the evolution of functions. You just need a desk now, every council where if you want passports, you go there and snap you. Maybe then we'll get somebody who comes on this tip and nobody machine. And that. You know, maybe this thing self can help and ease this problem of everybody wanting to come to free town for some of these um, things. Mr. Moderator. That point cannot be overemphasized. It's not just about passports, but even as we talk about vocational education, take it to the doorsteps of the people. Mm. Ready for support them. Let it be a national policy, a national drive. It is there. Like now we talk about uh, um, um, uh, um, an institution for be established in Akono. Mm. These things are long overdue. When you take certain developments to certain communities, you have people who are going to stay there. Time there was, even though uh, um, I call them Bunumbu, now a far, far, a flung place out of Freetown, but because of the quality of teacher training with them they provided, mm -hmm. several people go there and go train there. Yeah. So if you have those establishments in those places, people won't come to town. So we need for emphasize that it for it, it should be a deliberate national policy, not to just somebody wish for a normal no. It has to be a deliberate national policy. In fact, when we talk about uniting Sierra Leone, I then think mm -hmm. Sierra so for the emphasize. Mm -hmm. So whether our party A or party <coughs> B then our power, mm -hmm. we know we focus in terms of 
uh, 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 national development. Now this way for go. Everybody embrace him. In fact, now when person they come for can't even campaign to you, more even put on away day. Those are the things that you look for. What are those policies that you are going to implement? We'll get a national focus for ensure say vocational education, for instance, one of our emphasis for today. It is at the doorstep of every Sierra Leone, meaning say at least at regional level, but of course, one for CM at district level. Every district gets that kind set up where if I want for 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 for, for be a master in motor mechanic, I I, I didn't have those steps. If, if I want for be a master in telling for begin put that kind of like where where everyone where, where so well I don't need only for um, um, from Lunge to uh, um, plane or ship now that I but I still get I get uh, uh, um, a, a showroom in mm Sierra -hmm. Leone right down at Kailau mm -hmm. where we can pick them up there. Okay, Mr. Okay. Mr. Mr. Bluff. Okay, Reverend, you, you don't make the point. Tell me don't catch me really. Honestly, I think we need to continue this this discussion, mm -hmm. and we also go like I'm um, trying to see how much we able for reach out to the directorates, you know, at the Ministry of Tertiary um, Education, so that there's a good part of these discussions and see how much we able for like discuss and see how much there's a able for move these things and take up some of the recommendations. Yeah. So just 30 seconds, and Barista, what are the um, recommendations we will make for this? Make we add value mm -hmm. to technical vocational learning in this country. Mm -hmm. If we not add value, we make we continue. Mm -hmm. How we be don't understand that today. See, now for drop out, now for people that we know we will make our life, then we country will continue for suffer. We want for let somebody introduce himself, say, me na carpenter, mm -hmm. I get me workshop, and I the supply furniture to this office, that office, and this, and I get me 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 student they want it in, and where they do um, proper work right now. Now then, kind thing and then we want for see now continue. Okay, um, thank you very much, um, Reverend Tem Don Keshwi. I'm not say we go. I don't know. If I just one second. Just one quick one. Mm. Um, now the forces, we don't get plenty um, book and pen people and they. Mm. If now we they recruit. Let us recruit people who get technical and vocational training okay. for, for beef up them, them for them because of the discipline. Mm. We're going to set them up as institutions. We go produce things them. We we all go benefit from. Thank you very much. Um that's the um the good governance program where you've been listening to. We come to you courtesy of the National Commission for Democracy. We've been talk today about the importance of technical and vocational education and training in the governance process of the state. And um, with me in the studio, I've been guest the PR and Communications Director of the National Commission for Democracy, Reverend Jibril Akago. I've been guest um, barrister and solicitor, Charlie Israel Williams, an activist as well. Be there with me in the studio as well. And we will bring the program to you, Mina Ibrahim Sirajuba. Until we meet again, take all what we don't discuss so in good faith, and make sure you self in your very little corner make whatever contribution you can do for the push your country go before. Thank you so much. May God bless you.